So the thing that I really like about this small bin method is that I can control how much water really easily control the water. And I'm only making up a small amount. I use, it's about the amount that I would use in about 15 minutes. And then I still have dry mix over in the other bucket. And so if I added too much water, I'm able to add some dry mix and control more easily where if I'm making up a full wheelbarrow full or if I'm making up a full mixer of some cement of concrete then it it's harder to control if I get it too wet I'm in trouble here this is about what we want this is the consistency where it's just wet enough that we can pack it together and it stays together but it's wet enough that it actually can be compressed together. So this is really close to where we want it to be. And it's very easy to add a little bit more water. It's hard to make it dry again. It's easy to wet it down. So this is what I like to have as my working stage. And then as I'm going, I just add a little bit of water to it. And so, having it just a hair dry is best. So I can always add some more water. Okay, so we took a little break. And you see I just let it stop. And this is still pretty wet. I mean, I could really... Don't dent this. It's not like it's dried out yet or anything. So we're just going to continue on from there. I am going to take just a little bit of spray bottle, dampen that down just a little bit. Smooth that out just a little bit. It's gone for about 15 minutes. Take a little break. Check my video recharge my camera. Alright. And so now we have our mix. I'm just going to add a handful of mix. I'm gonna pull this till it's about halfway. Maybe back up just a little bit. Stuff. And I like to take and just stuff the mix in so that it fills the entire cavity of the form. And so then when I advance it a little bit, again, I take that cement, that concrete mix. I keep calling it cement. It's not cement, it's concrete. And now I'm going to take the form away and show you it's just a little bit dry. See these cracks? It's just a little bit dry, but that's about where we want it. I'm just going to take my form and dip it in the water, bring it back just wet, and smooth over that. You can see how that just nicely smooths out. Now if it was too dry, we could spray it with, spritz it with our bottle just a little bit. But it's just about right. So. Again, I'm just going to add just a touch of water just to give it working ability. Take a handful, stuff it into the form all the way in. I'll actually take my hand and come in under, push that in, advance the form forward, pushing the concrete, pushing the concrete. And you notice I'm making kind of a big turn here. I think I'm going to start initiating a little bit of a turn out again. It's up to you what you want to do. It's completely 
customizable. And so, again, take a look. It's a little bit. Wet my form down, bring it here, smooth it out. Do that, take it all the way down. Smooth it out, come to the next point. Add just a little bit of water. Okay, I wanted to show you if I got a big divot. And it's going so smooth that I haven't had a big divot here for a second. So I'm going to just... There we go, we got a big divot there. There's a big divot. Show you what to do if you've got areas that are giving you a little bit of problem. A lot of times you can just back up a little bit, press the cement a little tighter into the form, the concrete a little tighter into the form, but sometimes that doesn't work. And here I've got kind of a messy area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and make my real wet mix. So I'm going to take in the, just the corner of my bucket, add some water, just throw some cement and concrete into there, add that really wet concrete to the area that needs to be patched. Take my trowel, rinse it off, come back, and smooth that in. Yeah, that just helps build up the area that was just a hair dry and a little bit low. I'm going to take my spray bottle, spray that just a little bit. As we're working along, we're trying to avoid these big divots, but I wanted to show you how to fix a big divot. Tap it. Fix that big divot. Just like so. I'm going to start initiating my turn out. And so. And I'll just turn the form, start turning the form the direction that I want it to go. And here, you can see the form is now turning. Adding concrete. And usually, in a big turn, is where you're going to have more difficulty. If you're doing a tight turn or a big turn, big curve, you'll need more cement, more concrete, into the back side of your curving trowel. So I'll need to put more cement, more concrete, into the back side of my curving trowel as I load that up. See, because I need to Make my initiate my turn. There's going to be more material back here, less up here. And so I can't turn that as easily. I got to tap more, do more tapping than turning. And so. Again, I'm loading the back side of the trowel, how much I had to load it, and I can make my little bit of a curve. I'm making a sharp turn. There's nothing up here, it's all back here. Loading my trowel, making that turn. Okay, I'm gonna kind of straighten it out. And so you can see that with the curb it yourself trowel, you can make custom curves that you're not going to be able to make with any other type of edging. And
and to make it out of permanent concrete is just very much a wonderful ability. So I'm going to just tap this along um, and turn my curve and that cracks just a little bit because it's such a tight curve. take just a little bit of water to it. Wet trowel gently come around. Try not to remove any too much material. straightening it out again. So I'll start angling my trowel. this time as I'm making this curve see the front here needs more concrete to be loaded up into the front so what I'm going to do careful when you're tapping it as you're making these sharp turns because you'll knock the front out of it if you're not careful. And again, what you need to do is tilt your trowel back. Tilt just a little bit to keep my edge from digging in too much on this curve. Tilt it back just a little bit. Keep myself from digging in on this corner. Just dry for a second, and I'll come back and smooth it completely off because it just needs it's a hard corner to make. Just a little bit, mess with it just for a second longer, and then I'll probably leave it for just a minute. So if you're doing a real tight corner, just work it, be patient, and give it a few minutes, we'll get that worked right. Shut it off. 